Hi YouTube, Mark Verheer here. Uh, small video, Happy New Year everybody. Um, I've actually been gaming or testing some games uh, quite a fair bit on the Steam Deck. I really love my Steam Deck. And I even got a dock for it. And um, actually, let me tell you a little story. I think about two years ago, I was gifted this mini PC. It's from Tabao, and it has a first uh, generation Ryzen 2500U CPU. It has a very nice uh, aluminum case, plastic top, plastic, no, metal button. Um, it has room for a two and a half inch SATA drive with a very flimsy cable. Be very careful with that. And it also is capable of one NVMe uh, storage device, you know, the regular size. And um, I was quite amazed by, by how this PC performs. Um, I got it for free. Um, well, it's not entirely a gift because I had to uh, fill in a ton of forms, but uh, yeah, I've, I've really been quite interested in these little mini PC things. I've, I have some videos on the X55, X45 B-Link um, versions. I'll have those uh, down below and over here. And uh, when I got this, the B-Link, <laughs> the B-Link is actually um, a Celeron Intel-based uh, device, uh, and this actually has Vega 8 uh, mobile graphics with two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, yeah, it's it's just regular RAM. It uses from the from, from the main memory at a lower speed than most dedicated graphics will, will have. This is DDR4, but most graphic cards will have DDR5 or, or higher. So it is a bit hindered uh, because of that. But I actually was quite amazed by its performance on Windows 10. I believe it came with Windows 10. Um, I, um, I also tried Battleshira Linux on it. Uh, but I found it uh, very good for retro gaming. But if you wanted to go moder more modern gaming, it would it would allow you to install Steam games. But also, um, yeah, it's it's not as easy to use, and you can't configure it as much as you would like to. But it's a very nice all-in-one package that I use actually a lot on the Raspberry Pis, uh, other mini PCs. You know, it's 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 great, especially on the Intel. Uh, B-Link uh, NUC type uh, gaming rig. It actually works uh, works a charm. Um, when I got this, <laughs> I actually said yes to it because it the, the specs, it being all AMD, you know, Radeon graphics, Ryzen, it it was it was in my eyes very similar to the then upcoming Steam Deck and. Uh, Actually, uh, one of the first videos I made on it, I actually asked myself, how would this compare to a Steam Deck? And will a Steam Deck be able to run games better? Well, the Steam Deck is, is more advanced. It has uh, an 8-core, 16-thread CPU, I believe. So it's, it's more like a Ryzen 7-like uh, thing, I, I think. It also has RDNA 2 graphics or RDNA 1 graphics, at least not. Vega graphics, uh, so it's actually a step up. Also, uh, it uses another um, memory, uh, a higher bandwidth memory, so it's actually a lot more capable than this in the end. But when it uh, became obvious that it would not, the Steam Deck would not run Windows, well, it, it does run Windows, but not by default, it runs SteamOS, which is basically ArchOS with um, a GUI on it, I figured, you know, uh, perhaps try to see if if, um, if uh, Steam Deck OS is actually capable of running on this, or this is actually capable of running Steam Deck OS. Well, 
turns out that uh, there's uh, an open source Linux project called Holo, Holo OS, uh, which um, allows uh, you to install a modified Arch Linux distro on systems like this, on regular PCs. Um, and it is as close as real Steam Deck OS as possible. Uh, of course, it's not official and uh, it's not it's not meant to use as uh, your main system or your main gaming rig, but very nice for testing purposes. So I actually ended up installing it, and <coughs> actually I uh, I recorded a whole ton of gameplay video uh, footage with help of this uh, USB capture device, which which is very cheap. Uh, it only allows you to record it at 1080p or 720p. Uh, you hook up a USB thumb drive to the end, uh, USB 3, and it'll just record everything you, uh, you uh, hook up to it. And uh, uh, So I recorded actually quite a fair bit of footage, not at the best quality because that would be 60p, uh, but Good enough to show you some gameplay footage of SteamOS running on this little device. Um, I did a whole series of, of game captures without stats, but you also have the built-in uh, stats, you know, the CPU usage, the, the, the graphics card usage, the RAM, the temps and stuff. So I did a whole um, ton of, of emulation, but also Windows games on Linux um, running on this device, and I actually was quite surprised how well it turned out. Uh, and um, on the NVMe drive, I have Pop OS, uh, which which actually runs very well on this system. I find uh, that uh, this system with 16 gigabytes and its capable processor. Um, I find that I want to use it as a very nice Linux box, capable of some gaming, capable of some emulation, and dual boot it with uh, ArchOS, SteamOS, Steam Deck OS for uh, more of a console-like experience. And I have another mini PC that actually boots into Pop OS and Batosira. And what I also did was... Um, I have one of these game drives. I used to have this connected to my PlayStation. It's not an SSD, uh, but it is an, uh, a USB 3 uh, drive. It's not an SSD. It's a, it's, a, it's a spinning drive, a spinning hard drive. Not the fastest, but I also installed SteamOS on this, and I'm actually capable of booting from this on... Um, a Ryzen uh, 5700G system, which also has integrated graphics, which is a step up from this. Uh, I can also boot this on my Intel NUC with Vega Mobile 4 GB uh, VRAM uh, graphics, and also my Ryzen um, 3700X with RX 580. And Actually, in all that, all those systems, uh, this Steam Deck OS drive actually boots, and you get various uh, ranges of performance. FSR, for example, it doesn't work on this. This only outputs um, 720, 1080p video or 4K, but then somehow everything is rendered at 720, and it does use some sort of FSR, but uh, yeah, the Vega 8 2 gigabyte graphics is probably uh, a bit too uh, too meager <laughs> to be able to, uh, to, uh, to 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 just take advantage of that. But the RX um, 580 and the mobile uh, VJ graphics on the Intel NUC clone. Uh, oh, I can show you that actually is the Intel NUC clone. That I can hook it up to. It's an i7 uh, 800 something G with built-in NVIDIA graphics, and on that over there, that's a mini PC with a Ryzen 7 5700G 
So it's a full-blown desktop uh, CPU with uh, mobile graphics. I'm able to, to run that on, on those systems, and you actually see that the GUI, you know, the FSR and, and that kind of thing, is actually more compatible with the higher-end um, AMD graphics. Uh, but it, it, it scales nice, and uh, yeah, this is two or one gigabyte, I'm not sure. I think this is one gigabyte. Yeah, but it's it's large enough uh, to be able to to just have uh, uh, MU deck on it and some games. And uh, I may actually do some other videos, but I may have to stop using this and see if I can get my Elgato to work. But the thing with the Elgato is that you need uh, a PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, otherwise it won't work. And this thing does it stand alone. And I like it. It's, it was cheap. It was like 40 euros or something like that a while back. And uh, it doesn't do uh, 60 frames per second, but you can also have audio uh, coming in uh, extra next to the HDMI. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, this video is just to tell you that there's another video coming up uh, regarding this uh, <laughs> this this mini PC and um, Steam Deck OS. But I figured I'd give you a heads up and actually link some of the other mini PC videos, including the B Link and stuff, uh, in this video, uh, so that you can perhaps have a taste of the other stuff that was running on this Horizon 5 uh, mini PC. Well, Mark signing off, and I'll see you with that other video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, or do a subscribe, do the bell thing. Uh, over there, oops, over there, the I will show you the other videos or down in the description. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year.